and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the Ultimate Coin Guide for the Blitz promo, guys. Now, I did make this video earlier, and I had to remake the whole thing because after I made it, they did do a stream going over a lot of Blitz information. So everything I said had to change because I didn't think it'd be right to release that video to you guys considering how different it would have been from what I said. Because obviously predictions are predictions, but now it's facts. Like we know what comes out. So with all the new information, you guys have probably already seen my 1030 video going over all the Blitz. If I recommend you watch that first, it's to get a pretty good idea. So you're not a little bit lost when I'm speaking. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to explain a good majority of it. So you guys have an idea, but a lot of it was in that video. So they did announce quite a few things. They announced house rules, solo house rules, um, like the solo challenges. They announced that there would be Blitz Bolts as a new form of currency. So that greatly changes the dynamic of pretty much everything that I had said in that video. So we're gonna go over all that. This is gonna be the ultimate coin guide. So watch this if you guys are trying to make coins around the Blitz promo. I'm gonna go over all the ways you can make coins, all the potential outcomes, and pretty much everything you could expect from this promo when it comes to coin making. So guys, first and foremost, if you're new to the channel, Make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification boys, come join the family. We are so close to 13k, we're probably like 50 subscribers away at this point. Hopefully, if you guys are watching, everyone who's new, let's get us over the top. Everyone spam the sub button, come join the family, you won't regret it. Especially throughout the Blitz and the holidays, you don't want to miss out on the content. If you haven't already, comment down below, what are you guys doing to do to make coins? If you want to add anything to the guide, comment down below, help with the community. And can we get a thousand likes in this video, guys? We have never hit a thousand likes on a video before. If this is, if there's ever a video to do it, it's gonna be this one. So if you're watching right now, every single one of you, every last one of you that's watching this video right now has to hit the like button right now. You might think that your one like doesn't matter, but every one of you guys don't think that way. I get like 5,000 views in this video, 5,000 likes. So everyone watching right now, smash that like button, see how many likes we can get, see if we can break a channel record. Now let's get into the video. So first things first, there's gonna be a solo house rules and a house rules. So the key to making coins during the promo, of course my battery just died. The key to making coins during a blitz is staying consistent with the drops. Now, consistently with the drops is gonna be the best thing you can do to really make coins. So the house rule is gonna be every eight hours, I believe the solo, that's the solo house rules we're referring to. That's gonna be every eight hours. So you're gonna to wanna to be playing those every eight hours and you can get up to like eight wins every eight hours or was eight wins every four hours. Either or, you wanna be on top of it. So the house rules guarantees you coins, which is great. And blitz bolts. Now the blitz bolts, I'm gonna go over what I think they'll be for, but until we get to that, make sure you're doing your hourly stuff. There's gonna be hourly solo challenges, hourly house rules, hourly card drops. You have to, if you do everything hourly, typically the beauty of the blitz promo is if you do everything hourly and get as many stuff as much stuff as you can, you typically can earn yourself a free player and quite a few coins towards the end of this promo. So make sure you're getting all that stuff done. There's also gonna be an online house rules. So make sure you're getting that done too because it's also blitz bolts. You wanna pretty much acquire as many blitz bolts as you can because blitz bolts is going to be pretty much a cash out. Like it's like going to uh, the casino and earning chips and when you're done with the chips, you just cash them out for coins. That's what blitz bolts are gonna be. So acquire as many blitz bolts as you can. That's gonna be the key to making millions of coins from this promo. Now there's more ways than just that, but first and foremost, the blitz bolts are new. Now the blitz bolts, here's the thing. The Blitz Bolts could be used for maybe some of the limited time pack drops. You guys know what I'm talking about. Typically with the uh, the Harvest Promo, well, the Blitz Promo, they typically do special limited time pack drops on a daily basis. So it'll be like 12 midnight, uh, 8 a.m. and then 4 p.m. let's say. Those will be the hours when they drop packs and typically they come out right at that time. But this year they did announce there will be no global limit packs. So if you guys know what that means, global limit packs were like the 12 midnight fire fantasy packs is 5,000 in the whole world and gone done no one got them that's it like it was gone that quick so you won't have you won't have to worry about global impacts so that means everyone gets a fair share of the pie this year everyone's able to participate in the blitz promo and get all the packs so they'll be available for every like eight hours so as long as you come playing within that eight hour interval from the moment they drop to the moment they get out of the game they'll be available so everyone can participate now this does change quite a few things this most likely means that the market will crash a lot more so like see if a fire fantasy pack dropped for 5,000 global limit the market went down for a few minutes and went right back up. Now, if they drop, let's say a Fire Fantasy pack and it's glo no global limit, everyone can buy it, the market's gonna crash. So the mar expect the market to crash pretty bad, guys. So I recommend, you probably wanna sell some stuff before the blitz starts. Now, here's the other thing. You wanna have training on hand because training might also be used. So I predict that for the global packs, like the, well, not the global impacts, but the regular packs that we're dropping and to participate in the blitz promo, I think there'll be to the blitz keys or the blitz tokens, blitz bolts, I should call them training and real life money so madden points blitz bolts and training is going to be probably the three currencies you guys use so i wouldn't recommend investing in training specifically because i do believe that the price of training 
won't change a ton because the market's gonna die so it actually might come down get enough training for yourself for day one just in case there's a cool offer right away just get like four four thousand training five thousand you got a little bit of training for yourself and then don't invest too much into it now because with it not being global limits it's going to drastically change the training work. See, if it was global limits for training, people would rapidly buy training and skyrocket. You could sell it. But with it being never ending, should be around. If the first thing it happens to be training, you guys are good because you have the training. Now, I don't recommend you quick sell the card for training until you know. So let's say at midnight, they drop that first training pack, right? You drop that training pack. What you can do is you can go check the auction and see that your, all the training went up real quick. People are buying the training. You could sell your card. Now, if they don't drop training, It'll probably stay the same and you can just you just you have it but the thing is that the way training will go down is if they end up dropping like a fire fantasy pack or some like heavy weights or flashback packs for a really reduced training amount and people are just buying it and or no and a really reduced coin amount and people are just buying it crazy and a lot of things are going an influx on the market now the way you're gonna make coins using all what i just told you right there is going to be playing the market right so you gotta be you gotta be vigilant of the drops. Obviously, I'll be making videos for you guys going over things, but as I make the videos and thousands of people view them, it's probably gonna kill a lot of things I say. So you guys gotta comprehend the the theory behind what I'm gonna tell you right now. And if you guys can apply that yourselves without me having to, you know, obviously go tell you guys, this should work pretty beautifully for you guys. So here's the thing. So on the first the first drop is gonna determine the pattern. You gotta follow the patterns, right? So to give you guys a little story, I've always told you guys about this, but I never really I tell it randomly in a video, so you guys have probably heard it properly. So I think this video is probably proper. During the Christmas promo, I made about 10 million coins. I uh, there was snow currency, and when the promo first dropped, there was a bunch of 93 overall snow cards. They were like 220k. I bought like 10 of them, right? I was like, there has to be something for snow currency. A blitz came out. First blitz offer, snow currency. My Sam Darnold's on my 93s, they went up to like 350k. I made like 150k plus on each one. Then the next day they came back down because the next blitz offer was not snow currency. It was like trains. People were like, sell, sell snow currency, sell snow currency. People panic sold and went back to 20. I bought like another five or ten. Later that night, snow currency platinum packs. I sold them all for 350 again. I've now made like three million coins total from everything combined. Then they went down again because the next offer wasn't currency. That's that's the key. So if at 12 midnight the offer isn't training, training will probably come down a little bit. Just a little bit. Pick some up. Let's just say. Or you just I, I my best bet is to have it on hand already. Have it ready for you on hand. Now, when the first offer is training, training will go up in value. So then you could sell those cards for the value. So let's say you bought Clinton Portis for 210. All right, I'll go show you guys in the market what it looks like. If you guys buy the uh, the lowest light, whatever the whatever your best value is. Now, I don't want to give you guys the best training value because here's what happens. If I give you guys the best training value right now, everyone's going to go buy it. It's going to ruin it and it's not going to be there anymore. So, guys, figure out what it is for you because I don't want to ruin it for everyone by saying it out loud right now. I haven't done the math myself, so I'm not like hiding it from you guys, but I know if I do it, it's not going to help you guys. So, let's say Clinton Porsche 209 is what you want to buy. Now, they drop a training offer at like midnight. Let's say heavyweight packs, 1,500, you make training every time. So, Clinton Portis, or let's say anything else, Clinton Portis goes up to 2, 280, 290. They all fly up in training because people are buying them. You sell your Clinton Portis, you make like 70k after reduction on like three of them. You match 210k. And then, the next offer is with Blitz Bolts, or currency. And people are like, oh, okay, so, no more training? They start, training starts coming down, no one wants training anymore. And then, you all the extra coins you make, you buy a few more. Now you buy five Clinton Portises, let's say. Now you have a ton more. And then later that night, another training offer drops. So that, that is potentially how it could work. Now, this works better with currency. So let's say it's Blitz Bolts, guys. This applies to Blitz Bolts too. So remember this in case they end up doing this with Blitz Bolts. Let's say you could only buy things with Blitz Bolts currency. Same thing. Let's say the Blitz players go for Blitz Bolts. Same thing can happen. If they if the first offer they give you Blitz Bolts cards for money, you get your Blitz Bolts cards, pick them up. For for they're gonna be cheap right away, right? Because people are gonna be quick selling them real quick. Not quick selling them, like actually clicking on them, quick selling them. Like they're gonna be putting them on the market real quick. So you're gonna to wanna to get these cards and for cheap, when they're really cheap, because new cards are always really cheap, like that, when they when they drop in abundance. You're gonna pick them up, you're gonna hold them. Let's say they end up dropping, you end up you, you find out they're gonna be blitz tokens is gonna to be or blitz bolts are gonna be the currency. Then when the first platinum pack with blitz bolts drop, you sell all your blitz players. You make tons of coins. Then the next day they use training a currency, it comes back down, you buy them all back. This guide applies to almost every promo, but I'm specifically using it for the Blitz promo, guys. There's so many ways to make coins by playing the Blitz bolts. If they don't drop them, the price will go down. If they do drop the Blitz bolts, the price will skyrocket. So pretty much, if you can always be on the right end. Now, the best advice I can give you is the last day of the Blitz, be careful. 
there's a lot of risk on the last day now I'll get into all this why you guys want to be careful on the last day so to give you guys my own specific story on Christmas that whole week blitz of Christmas I went crazy I had made 10 million coins so I didn't really care that I lost some on the last day but the last day no it was the Super Bowl promo that's what it was Super Bowl promo I did the same thing it was a blitz on the last day of the blitz I was super happy I'd made tons of coins I'd saved up so many Super Bowl rings if you guys remember that currency so I, I was like there has to be one last big one big pack drop before the promo ends up uh, rings and I'm gonna cash out I had like five Eli Mannings for 200k I was super hyped I was gonna sell them off for like 300k I was gonna make like a million coins I was so hyped to do this and I was waiting the 4 p.m. pack drop whatever nothing 8 p.m. pack dropped nothing I was like okay we're down to the 12 p.m. pack I know they're gonna end it with a banger the 12 p.m. pack was like legend fantasy packs for like a five dollar discount the second that last pack had hit and there was no there was no more use for rings my Eli Manning went from 200k to like 130 I had lost like 80k per each one I had. I lost like 500k the last day. Now I had made so many coins, it didn't really matter. But the point being was that the last day is gonna be risky. The first few days aren't gonna be risky because they're, they're gonna cycle through all. They're gonna be blitz bolts, training currency, blitz bolts, training currency. But the last day, do not depend on EA to make sure that every currency gets hit. That's how you're gonna end up screwing yourself. So the last day, just be vigilant. Remember, there is risk on the last day. Don't put all your eggs in one basket for the last day. Don't have all your training ready for the last day. Don't have all your blitz bolts ready for the last day. Sometimes they say, you know, it's like best to cash. It's like a stock, right? You bought stocks at $5. They went up to $50. You made all this money. Maybe just sell, right? Because the next day, a, a report came out and go right back down to two. So I'm just saying, it's up to you. The third day is up to you. I will have videos coming out, obviously, as this stuff goes on. Going over all the stuff that could potentially happen on each day as I make the video. So don't think this is the last thing you have to watch. And you have to just remember it all. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope this helps you guys. I hope this coin guide as a whole just gives you guys an idea. This is useful for almost everything in Madden in general, but I will be making them seasonal base for the promos to help you guys out specifically. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Come join the family, boys. We're so close to 13K. Let's see if we can make it happen after this video. Everyone watching this, spam the subscribe button. Comment down below if you have anything to add to the coin guide to help the community out. That's always greatly appreciated. And make sure to hit that like button. Can we get 1,000 likes on this video? That's the one like goal we haven't hit yet. Can we smash this and get a thousand likes? Everyone's still here watching. You should have hit it already, but if you haven't, use your second chance. Spam that like button, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.